okay, so what am I supposed to do on this day of rest? Well, there's actually, believe it or not, because of course there is, a lot of discussion as to what we should do. Historically, English-speaking people said you have to only do acts of mercy, acts of worship, and that's it. People from non-English-speaking backgrounds said, and you can do fun things as well. Um, so you went to, so there was a very famous case where John Knox, who if you know who that is, he's a church father from Scotland, they said, no fun, we don't do anything for relaxation, this is a day of the Lord's worship. And so Knox fly, go, not flies, he travels by boat to Europe and he sees John Calvin and he goes to see him on a Sunday and John Calvin is bowling in his backyard and they just couldn't believe that the one would bowl on Sunday when the other would be like, you don't do anything fun on Sundays, this is a day of worship only. And because America is an English-speaking country for a long time, there was not that permission here to do that. And so what I see when I see the scripture is I don't see a permission. I don't see a, just looking at it, I don't see a forbidding of having fun and enjoyment on Sundays. So for our football watchers, our race car watchers, there you go. You have a way to do so. Maybe if you enjoy gardening or you enjoy just grilling out, I think you have a permission to do so. What I do see with this is actually taking rest. Um, we saw in Sunday school this morning, they said that this one man, he was raised in a family where they weren't allowed to do anything on Sunday and it become a burden and not worshipful. Um, man, the Sabbath is made for man, not man made for the Sabbath. So if you have things that you like to do, like for me, taking a glorious nap after service, that is acceptable. Some of, the, some of you chuckled a little bit at the glorious nap. Um, or, you know, I uh, will watch the hockey game on Sundays when they do that during the day. That's acceptable for us to do. It's acceptable for us to do that. But I will say this, by the way, this is an issue of conviction. And so maybe you're the conviction saying, today is not a day for relaxing enjoyment. Today is a day of worship. That is an acceptable way to live for this day. So you might choose to do acts of mercy. And I know people who will, after Sunday service, they'll go to a soup kitchen and they will serve the poor. Or they'll go to this or to that to serve others. This is an acceptable and good way to worship just as well. There is no, for, the forbidden actions are that which is sinful, but that which is service towards others is welcome and able to be done. I am aware of people who every Sunday they come home and they smell something cooking on the stove. You know how that is, it's like a five hour cooking. We usually make what we call Sunday gravy, which is just something cooked in a pot that's about this tall and it's just tomatoes and meat. And we enjoy that. But I know some people who say, we grill and we smoke up extra food on Saturday and we don't do any cooking on Sunday. We just don't do anything. 